Like you have to start doing these things. You have to start lowering your inflammation before you ever have surgery. Like surgery is not the impetus to start this process. It starts mm -hmm. many, many months beforehand to get you into a better position. If in fact you come to see Dr. Fink or I for surgery. Yes. So I know you have hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Yeah. Uh, so I have invested in two big chambers, multi-person chamber. Uh, just about every patient after surgery, I put them in there. We give three uh, hyperbaric treatments. And I also invested in these red light lasers. Right that we use uh, after the dra drains are out. And so I use that for both facelift, uh, tummy tuck, breast reduction, breast lifts, uh, so that they heal better. And that, you know, the I'm really amazed at how much pain reduction this does for the patient. And I know you really, you also use hyperbaric oxygen treatment. Yeah. Uh, I. I strongly believe in that and i use that extensively uh after fat grafting whether it's fat grafting to the face or fat grafting to the breast yeah um, dr zamboni was was my mentor and and he had nih funding for hyperbaric oxygen research for ischemia reperfusion in mm -hmm. muscular tissue and and so if you came to work for him or if you were his fellow you were going to go to the lab and you're going to be in the lab and they're going to, you know, talk about the experiments or going to go to lab meetings. And, you know, it's, I would say, uh, you, you don't appreciate your mentors, unfortunately, until many of them have passed, uh, All Dr. Right. Zamboni passed very early in his career from metastatic, uh, renal cell carcinoma, kidney cancer. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's quite, you know, I'm older now than he was when he passed, which was, very no. difficult. He has a, a son, uh, my daughter's age. So he impressed upon us all at a very early